Good afternoon and welcome to Ten Fast Seat. Today I'll be uh, installing the new Lose Center of Gravity uh, LiPo mount for the Cougar Laydown. This has been made by Wesley Van Helmen. It's very nicely made, a little bit of 3D printing. So uh, I'll just get on with uh, the installation. What we're going to need first is four screws like that size to install it and I'm going to raise the front edge up with a couple of 1 mil washers so uh, where it locates in the chassis here it overlaps the brass plate um, once it's in situ now obviously you could cut that plate down but you lose a bit of weight but it's fine if it's raised up a cementum obviously it's not ideal but it's a work in progress, it's quite a new new product to try. Having the batteries positioned dead centre in the chassis well, rather than having them sideways, it's got to be sort of, uh, quicker in theory I guess because you've got less weight on the edges of the chassis when it's when they're around this way around. So let's have a crack at putting this together. Start off with the front, I think. It's going to be a bit tricky going to get these washers in. So it locates four screw holes. We'll start off with this one at the front. Put that on there. I'm going to raise my camera up a bit. Works using the, uh, the clinic rubber O-rings. So if you've already got one of those and you don't have to go and buy any more, they will work just fine. Seems like uh, pretty good plastic it's made out of. It's, uh, it's measurements are bang on. Doesn't need any adjustment. Go straight in. Okay, so that's now bolted in. You can see side on, it's just raised on top of the radio plate. But if you want to remove the radio plate, you could just back these screws off here, unscrew those two, and the plate will lift out. So, as you can see, it's going to be a tight fit to get the batteries in and everything. So, I might have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. Move the speeder over forward a bit. Now I'm using a small servo, so I could probably take lose the switch on this speedo. I could even go to the uh, rewire it, get longer wires in, but hopefully I can just get it in underneath like this. Yeah, it's definitely a snug fit. Definitely snug. But so uh, I'll have a little think about it and I'll let you know what it looks like when it's stuck in. Okay, we're all done here. Just had a little test drive up the garden just to make sure it's all working. Now, you have to use the stock chassis because there's not enough room for a Mott NS5 chassis unless you start taking chunks out of the bulkhead or using an invisible speed controller. So there you go, it all fits. I need to rewire my motor wires because they weren't long enough. So I've had to do a little join, but yes, it works, it's fine. Nice bit of kit, and it feels really stable, I have to say. So, yeah, looking forward to hitting the track with it. Um, any questions, hit me up, but yeah, it's real simple. Get yourself one. Thanks, Wesley.